Hey, what's up, YouTube? Got that funk here. You know, I'm not a very big fan of uh, isms when the ism uh, refers to some kind of prejudice, whether it's racism or ageism or anything like that, uh, sexism, whatever. I'm, I, I'm not a big fan of those types of isms. And, uh, you know, now that I'm advancing in years somewhat, I find myself, yet again, uh, the victim of an ism. You suffer from ageism when you're young to a degree, because especially when you're a young adult, uh, older adults tend to not take you seriously as an adult. They sometimes still treat you like a child. And I personally regarded that and still do regard that as a form of ageism. Uh, but now that you get to sort of past middle age and into your grumpy old man years, uh, where I'm at at the moment, um, I'm finding the ageism thing comes from the opposite direction, and I think it's mildly amusing, ironic, and sometimes frustrating. Uh, here's the thing. When I was a young adult, I always swore to myself that uh, when I got older, I was never going to be like really square, you know, like uh, sort of, you know, your typical middle-aged uh, conservative person. You know, I was going to still be me. I was still going to be vibrant and, and upbeat and, you know, active and so forth. And I was never going to stop listening to the music I liked in favor of, say, easy listening or uh, symphony music or whatever, etc. I was going to dress however I wanted and so forth. And this is the thing it kind of gets me because I get ageism from younger adults and from uh, adults of a certain age um, regarding just the way I dress. Um, <clears throat> you know, I don't dress in any way outrageously, don't get me wrong, but I do tend to have a lot of very vibrant clothes. I mean, my wardrobe is pretty much evenly split between 50% black stuff and 50% colorful stuff. Um, if it's not colorful, it tends to be black. Um, I don't really do a lot of muted colors um, <laughs> one way or the other. And I think it's interesting when I get someone of a certain age who says to me, oh, you know, whether it's about my tattoos or the way I dress or my piercings or whatever, and say, oh, why, why don't you try to act your age? Um, the thing is, you know, I'm just being myself, so no matter how I act, I'm acting my age, because I am the age I am, and I'm being myself. See what I mean? Um, but I know, I know what they're implying, you know, that you should sort of tone it down, that you should, uh, you know, there's, some people seem to have it in their head that when you get past, I guess, 40 or 45 or whatever, um, that you should basically mute your personality or at least dilute it to a point where uh, you know society will find you uh, somehow respectable uh, I've never really been too worried about uh, being perceived as respectable in terms of uh, my look um, the other thing is you know I, I, I go dancing uh, now that I live in London I'm starting to go out a bit more often and, and, and dance a bit more, which is something I really missed. I haven't been dancing up until recently. I hadn't been dancing since the summer of 2011. So it's been a long break uh, in my 35-plus uh, years of dancing. And all my life, no matter whether I was a young adult or an older adult, um, people have laughed at the way I dance, and that's fine. You know, I'm perfectly okay with it because I do dance like a monkey on fire. Um, I'm not very good at dancing with people. Uh, I tend to do my own thing. I'm in my own little like dance bubble, uh, where I feed off the energy in a in a in a party or in a nightclub or whatever. Uh, but I don't tend to participate in it too much. I tend to go by the speakers and dance by myself, doing my own thing. Very often, I might be wearing sunglasses because that way you can't tell that my eyes are closed. <laughs> anyway. Um, but I do notice a lot of times you get younger adults sort of pointing, and some sometimes they're pointing just because you're there at all, and they don't think that uh, people over 40 should even be in a nightclub. And I know people over 40 who think that as well. Each to their own, serve yourself, whatever. I don't think uh, it has anything to do. If you go in there to pull, that's different. But if you just go in there to dance, fuck it. Well, why should it matter how old you are? If you like to dance, you like to dance. Why should I stop enjoying dancing just because I'm over 50? I, I enjoy dancing. Why? What, why should I put it away uh, to f make other people more comfortable? Fuck that. You know, I was always sort of told when I was a kid that, you know, after you turn 18 and you grow up, you're an adult and you can do whatever you want to do. And I find it ironic 
that uh, you can do whatever you want to do as a young adult, but then you start getting older and apparently you're supposed to stop doing what you want to do and start doing what you're expected to do, which is kind of like being a kid again. Fuck that. So I choose to grow old disgracefully. You can fucking sue me, but that's the way it is. I never ever want to uh, basically tone myself down uh, for the sake of making other people comfortable, especially. And it just kind of bugs me. You know, I'm always going to like heavy metal. I'm always going to like funk. I'm always going to like reggae. I'm, always, I, I'm never going to like opera music. I'm never going to like easy listening to any great degree. I mean, I don't hate it, but, you know... It's not the kind of thing I'm going to go, oh, you know, the best of this or that. No, no, no. I like what I like. I like energetic music. I like to be active. I like to be colorful. I'm never going to stop. And if people think it looks ridiculous because of my age, well, that's their fucking problem. It's certainly not mine. Thanks for watching this video. And until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.